The girl found herself hanging upside down. The man who had grabbed her had disappeared. The girl starts to save herself, but she accidentally drops her knife. The girl doesn't panic. She's calm. After seeing the light bulb, she had an idea. Outside the girl's car stood a group of men. Their few size frightened Mary. Under Jack's threat, Mary could only get out of the car. She was about to be tortured by the men. At that moment, Mary pulled out a pistol and quickly shot two of the men. Jack immediately threw out a whip and knocked Mary to the ground. He kept dragging the girl. Mary faints from his torture. Jack puts her on a table and secures her with an iron hook, and she is held captive by a group of them. When Mary woke up again, she found herself heading upside down. The man had disappeared. Mary started to save herself, but she accidentally dropped her knife. Mary didn't panic. She was very calm. After seeing the light bulb on the beam, she kept twisting her body. After a lot of wiggling, she managed to grab the beam. She removed the bulb and cracked it. Mary cuts the rope with a broken glass. Then she bends her body to grab the hook. Finally, she managed to escape. Just then, there were cries for help from inside the house. Curious, Mary entered the room. Inside the room lay a man covered in worms. Mary panicked for a moment, and then she quickly fled the room. She must find a way to escape as soon as possible. When Jack returned, he realized that Mary had disappeared. He arranged for his men to rush after her. The girl sets a trap with a wire. Mary wrapped it around a tree and then adjusted the height so that it came right up to the adult man's neck. Mary is being chased by the butcher. She fought her way to the preset trap. At the moment she reaches the trap, she deliberately falls to the ground. By the time the butcher saw what was happening, it was too late. He died instantly. The escaped girl left the scene wearing a helmet. The butcher's companion followed the trail. He found the helmet abandoned by the river. But strangely, the helmet had a string attached to it. While he was confused, Mary suddenly came out of the water and killed him with a pistol. After a short rest, Mary set out on the run again. To save her energy, she built a simple boat and floated down the river. When she passes a house, Mary decides to go in and ask for help. The owner of the house was an old man. After hearing Mary's plea for help, he said that there was no telephone at home. Mary felt desperate. However, the man then said that she could take his car. With the help of the kind man, Mary didn't have to ride her motorcycle anymore. She drove out of the terrible forest. She arrived at a convenience store and met a police officers on patrol. She rushed to the police for help, and then got in her car and left the area. But Mary didn't know that the police were working with a butcher. Mary managed to escape and was taken to Jack's place. A terrible ordeal awaited her. The man brought in a kettle. He killed the kettle right in front of the girl. The worst was yet to come. Jack cut open the kettle's belly and emptied it. Then he took a needle from his room and stuffed Mary into the kettle's belly and sewed her up. Poor Mary was corroded by the acid in the kettle's stomach. She could have died at any moment. Mary was an animal photographer who came to the forest to look for rare species. One day on her way back to her boat, she heard screams in the distance. Driven by curiosity, Mary rushed over to the sound. The scene made her vomit. A group of butchers were hunting a man. Mary wanted to leave, but she couldn't bear to run away alone. She pulled out a video camera to record their crimes. Unfortunately, she was spotted by the hounds. Even though Mary paddled away from the scene, she was seen by the butchers. Mary had no idea she'd been discovered. She drove to the police station, but just as she was about to get out of the car, it suddenly shook violently. Mary rushed to see that her car was being towed by a pickup truck. Mary screamed for help, but there was no one on the street. The girl and her car were dragged away by the pickup truck and eventually went up at a farm. This is where Jack is based.